So what we're gonna do today is just um, have some fun. We're gonna create this Hello Kitty charm that I had made um, for a lovely little young lady. And I'm gonna be mailing that out to her, but I thought we'd have fun making another one. And let's get started. All right, so what do I have to get started? I've already chosen to use one of those plastic chains. I just thought it was much more fun with the Hello Kitty kind of feel. And I've decided to put this little cute heart clip on the top, this uh, lobster clasp shaped like a heart. So we're gonna be using that and I already have it connected. I have my beads. I have some 10 millimeter beads that I've already pre-wired. And I do show you in another video a way to cheat wire these beads. So I'll link that video below later on and you can take a look if you're not as great at um, wiring as you know I wish I could be. So that's why I found this little kind of cheat method. And then I have some of these eight millimeter beads I'm gonna be using and some flowers I've mixed in. And then I think these are 14 millimeter, 12 or 14. So we're gonna just use a few of those because I've only put 10 links on this chain. And then we have our cute Hello Kitty charms. I also have some six millimeter um, jump rings and I have some eight millimeter jump rings. Now I've decided to use the eight millimeter jump rings just to give a little more space between the chain link and the B, but I'm gonna use the six millimeters when I add the little uh, charms at the end. So let's get started and do this. The way I make a charm or a dangle is not the right way, it's just my way. So what I like to do is I usually start at the top and begin with my first bead and my first jump ring. And so I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna open up this jump ring if my hands will stop shaking. And I'm gonna wire it on to the very first link. Now, I wanna show you something that I do. I don't know if it's right or wrong, just something that makes, to me, makes the charms look chunkier. Notice how there's that second link that connects the first. What I try to do is add a bead on each side of that link so that they don't kind of slide together. They stay separate and it just kind of gives the illusion of a chunkier charm. So that's just something that I do. I don't really know if it's the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. It's just the way that I do it. Okay, so I just put on my first bead and I'm just choosing random colors and I'm just gonna keep adding these on, whoops. And then I'm adding this to the other side of that link in the middle. See, can you see how I did that? And then I'm just gonna close this off. And I'm just gonna continue to do this right now. I'm gonna skip every other link, only because I just wanna add some visual interest. So I'm doing the 10 millimeter beads every other link. And then I'm gonna come back and fill in with a couple of the nice gumball ones and the smaller ones. So you can see it's on both sides of that little link in the middle. And if I hadn't done that, they'd slide together to one side and it would just, wouldn't give the appearance of the nice chunkiness. So funny story, the reason I have all these Hello Kitty charms and I'm making things with them is Eileen, who everybody knows, we love Eileen, she originally, when she hosted her Sanrio swap, I had no idea what Sanrio was. And I had to look it up and then it said something about Hello Kitty. So I said, oh, I could do Hello Kitty. <laughs> so I ordered a bunch of charms, but then I chickened out. 
So the truth of the matter is I'm actually making this charm and it's going to go to Eileen. So I'm just going to keep going along. When I'm doing a charm, I tend to a dangle. I tend to hold it upside down so the beads all fall downward and then I can see where my next link is going to be. Here all I am. I'm links. doing every other link right now. And again, I'm just skipping all these every other one. Every other one. Just randomly choosing the beads. All right, so I am near the bottom. I have the bottom one left, which I am not going to do right now. So I have all my 10 millimeter beads all lined up. Now I'm just going to go back and fill in and have some fun. So I have three of these bubble gum beads and I'm going to spread those out. Since I have approximately 10 links, I'll do one every three links, just, you know, for a little visual interest. So I'll put one right up on top here and I'm just going to put this one right in the top here actually not right in the So there I have my first bubblegum bead on and I'm going to count down one, two, three, four, and put the other one here on the fourth one. Okay. So I have my two bubblegum beads on and I'm just going to put one down here near the end. I'm leaving my last link empty for a while till I add my kitty charm at the end. I had no idea there were so many characters associated with Hello Kitty. Now I'm kind of, I don't want to say obsessed, but... I'm kind of loving it. Makes me want to get some stuff. And I and the other thing that I did too is I put one on one side of a uh, link, one on another side of a link. It's not showing up like that. See? So when it lays, it's kind of their yeah, opposite sides. Yeah. And now I'm just going to go back and have fun. I'm going to fill in those extra links. The only thing I did differently was I... Um, wired some little eight millimeter beads together in doubles. And I'm just gonna go in and give it some fullness. And I have these little flowers that I'll add. And then the very last thing I'll do is add the little kitties. Again, just added one on one side of the link and I'm gonna do the other one on the other side. Okay, again, it's easier for me sometimes when I hold them upside down. I know, I know. And then we're just going to slide that in there. Once it gets fuller, the charm gets fuller, it's harder to see where you want those beads to go sometimes. Okay, so I have two on there. And I'm just going to continue down to the next empty um, open link. And I'm going to add another one there. So how I did the 10 millimeters every other link, I'm doing the 8 millimeters in the middle of those. And hopefully this live here just, you know, gave you a little um, indication of how I do it and how I, I don't want to say, I keep saying I cheat, but you know, some of the techniques I use to make it look chunkier. I think what I've learned since doing this is to use a combination of different size beads. I think that gives it a lot of visual interest. Of course, the bigger and chunkier beads you use, it's going to look chunkier. The bigger the um, jump rings you use, it's going to give you a little more space and help give it some chunkiness as well. So it's really just a matter of, you know, what kind of elements you choose to put on it. But see how this is just getting chunkier and chunkier? Right now I'm making a mess of things. Hold on. I'm trying to get <laughs> one last um, bead here on the end, the second to the last. Usually at the end of a, of a dangle, I'll put a statement charm, which is, you know, just something bigger um, that has to do with the theme. On this particular one, I don't have something that's bigger. All the charms are the same size. So I'll probably just pick my favorite and put it at the end. And then sometimes I might even put a little extra piece. Uh, so, for example, on the last one, I put a bow and the charm, which I don't have any bows with me, but I'll probably end up adding that after the fact. So on this last one, and I'll do the same on this one, I just added, in addition oh. to the charm, I hung Hello Kitty from a little Super bow. Cute. So I'm just going to start by adding 
my favorite charm at the bottom and gee i'm not sure which one that is they're all off they're awfully I'll cute let me yellow. see the yellow, would look the yellow might look pretty yellow, just to kind of like go some should blue. we add the moon kitty on the moon to the end now for this i'm doing something a little bit different i'm going to be changing up my jump rings to six millimeter hold on i'm not on the very end i am going to use the eight millimeter just Why? because i want a little more space between the link and the charm and, and just gives it a little more um the space it just it takes up space so it makes it look a little more dramatic a little bit longer but this is the point where i'm now going to go back to my individual 10 millimeter beads and i'm going to start adding on these other hello kitty charms that i have and i'm going to use the six millimeter jump rings for these and i'll show you the difference so there's the difference and this obviously will just keep the hello kitty closer to the bead like I said, it's just a matter of mixing things up to create visual interest that makes the, the charms and the dangles so pretty. Um, now, can you see the difference between the eight millimeter jump ring I used here versus the six millimeter jump ring I used to add Kitty? Just brings her a little bit closer to the bead. And I'm just adding these randomly going down to some of these um, individual eight millimeters. So really, this is it. That's my Hello Kitty charm. And then, you know, if I wanted to add a little extra zhuzh, I have these cute little flowers I can also add. So why don't I just go ahead and do that since we have some time. Just, you know, add a little extra fun to the, to the mix. I'm just eyeballing it and looking, you know, for little gaps where I think I might like to add something. Um, yeah, it's really just personal preference. I like using the chunkier beads starting that way and then filling in with the smaller beads. And then at the very end, going back and just adding the little accents, the charms, the flowers, um, you know, whatever else that you might want to add. Mm, right. So a lot of times in the crafting community, we hook these to um, embellishments that we're making or projects. Maybe you're making a uh, journal or some sort of album, you can hook it to the sides. People hang them on their purses, people hang them on their backpacks. Oh, okay. um, I have a collection that I just hang in my craft room because I just think they're so pretty. So when they're sent to me by other crafters, I have a little collection of those that I like to hang. This is, you know, it's just fun. And this is something that everybody can do, everybody can enjoy, it doesn't have to be perfect. So take care everybody, thanks for joining me. Bye bye now.